You know, nobody has tried Virat Kohli with the bounces. You know, yeah. it's okay. I understand. Rohit Sharma is in top form. Top form. He's a great player. I mean, I rate him far better player than Virat Kohli because he has the range of shot that you know nobody has right now. The timing even. So, I think uh, it's going to play a crit critical part again. Toss bhi hoga, mujh lagta. Lekin mujhe lagta hai ki upper hand is is match ki comprehensive win ke baad South Africa pressure baat zada hai. Yeah. Or ab 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 dekhein ki well deserving jo hota hai. Mujhe lagta hai yar uska farewell hona chahiye Rohit Sharma ka. You know ki jeete World Cup bhi jeete. So, मुझे मेरा दिल ये कहता है कि उसका फेयरवेल होना चाहिए लास्ट वर्ल्ड कप उसके हाथ से चीन से लेगी शायद कोहली का भी हो सकता है नहीं यार अब देखो गौतम गंभीर की स्टेटमेंट आई है बड़ी सख्त किस्म की कहता है आई वांट इट बी हैव एन फाइव न्यू प्लेयर्स इन द टीम सो प्ले द टॉप फोर स्पॉट एंड दे नॉट ओनली विल क्वालीफाई फॉर द फाइनल बट दे आल्सो टेक द टाइटल होम वेल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई जस्ट डन कपड़ा थिंग आई नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग इज दैट Having a spinners like Kuldeep, Akshar, Jadeja, who would advise you to win the toss and bowl first? I mean, it's pretty straightforward, isn't it, Aaron? Well, I think given the fact that the weather completely evaporated well, and stayed away, they, and the wicket got slower, they, they and should slower. have scored about two hundred runs. Yeah. If Rohit would have stayed there, they would have cashed around about two hundred runs. Easy. Absolutely. I mean, do you? Are you the best spinner? Are you the best batsman of the spinners? By and large, I'm just asking you a question. As Englishman, yeah. you know the best batsman of the spin. Well, how would you take a chances? It's a pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward thinking. I mean, why do you complicate things? If I was in England, we're in the toss, put around about 160 odd runs. Mind you, there are three spinners, and there is the one most difficult fast bowler of this format and any format. Is Bumrah, who is never gonna able to let you score. And with this kind of a variation, anyways, I mean, needless to say, I don't know what they were thinking. And plus, uh, I think uh, weather played a huge part. No, I'm sorry, don't. It was pretty humid out there. Whatever the moisture that you had, it was dried up. But the one minute is the rain, another minute is thing was gone. But I don't think that again. I'm not going to say this word, but it's, it's just like a headless chi chickens. I mean, chickens are rice. back. <laughs> so I think it's just a useless batting by India, uh, by England. I mean, kis tarah aap kis pe maarogi? I mean, kis pe maarogi? Mujhe ye to samjh nahi aa kis pe attack karogi? So, but I was very disappointed with the toss. I'll be honest with you. I've been saying that to you. Look, scoring something about 150 above and 60, it's a winnable total. You get that total, and then you'll be in the game. Here, in England is not in the game right from the word go. Anyways, so there's a one player that was actually capitalising on the whole situation is Rohit Sharma. It's, it's just off to a great start every time. And imagine he's playing about 60 balls or 70 balls. If he if he gives himself another three overs, India would have scored about 200 runs easy. Yeah. But again, then he had Surya Kumar Yadav. I will keep on saying that Rishabh Pant as an opener, Kohli as a one down would have been a perfect match made in heaven kind of thing. But Surya Kumar Yadav and Hardik Pandey comes in and just gets your total right and becomes a winning total. I think it's a, it was very sad to see that the England approach and then again um, sad to see the departing like this. And well done to India. What a ruthless performances. What a ruthless performance. That's the way it should be. I mean, आपको मैसेज देना चाहिए यार आप हमारे खिलाफ बैटिंग करोगे दूसरी हे यू गो टेक अ पिक हम आपको ऐसे मलिया मेट करेंगे वो पहली बॉल है बटलर साहब आराम कर जाओ थोड़ा आराम कर जाओ थोड़ा रिलैक्स कर लो पहला बॉल देख लो कितना स्पिन हो रहा है नीचे लो ऊपर पांच छह बॉले देख लो उसके बाद चला देना बट एनी वेस्ट डिसअपॉइंटेड सी यार रियली आई वॉन्ट सी अ गुड सेमीफाइनल नॉट लाइक दिस ये तो अफगानिस्तान वाला हाल हो गया I don't think we expected to see England roll for as much as they were in the end. A 68-run margin is massive to Team India. Guppy, Josh Butler was saying at the post-match presentation that he didn't actually think the toss played that big of a part. He didn't feel like conditions changed a hell of a lot throughout the innings. He just thought they were completely outplayed from a bowler's perspective when it came their time to chase. What was your read on the situation? He's right. They were outplayed. But the, the wicket was never going to get easy to bet on. 
Um, that I mean, what happened happened, obviously, and you know they've got to live with that decision of, of bowling first. But um, yeah, obviously India were just way too good on the day. Rohit's fantastic again, uh, backed up by Surya Kumar, Hardik Pandya again, Jadeja, and then a little uh, Axar Patel um, cameo at the end. I mean that. This is, again, it's everybody sticking their hand up when other people don't, um, and that's why they've got to the final. They've guys have just put their hand up when needed. Uh, Rohit's led the way, Surya Kumar's led the way, led the way, uh, and other guys have just chipped in around that, and it, it's fantastic to see. It's you know we, we've seen two lopsided uh, semi-finals, and hopefully we see a, a pretty close final in a couple of days' time. Because you've played CPL, you've played a lot in the Caribbean in your career. You are so negative <laughs> about everything. You've been negative about every single cross. Oh, no, they should have bowled first. Oh, no, they should have done that. And now you're yeah, negative about the final. I think I Be excited about it. <laughs> South Africa, it is not looking forward to playing against India. I'll be honest with you. I'm not being negative. I, I'm just thinking the reality. I, I think they'll be pretty excited. What makes excited. you think that I'm being negative? I'm just yeah. thinking the reality. Your, your whole reaction to that? Oh, no. I don't think the South Africa would make it far. No. Well, that's my opinion. I'm not being negative about it. <laughs> but your reaction? No. <laughs> but I don't think that after watching this kind of a spell, that this winners. Yeah. If they lost the toss and they had to defend and a bad second. No. Well, well that was what oh. I wanted to, be, to bring think, you in, Marty. They were not expecting that they will be post something of 170. They would think that England would thinking at that time when winning the toss and elected to ball first, maybe 130 or 140. But they were played, you know, very well. Especially <coughs> the, the partnership between Rohit Sharma and uh, Surya Kumar Yadav, that 73 <coughs> pa uh, runs partnership, I think that was the crucial for them. And when they, uh, and the spinners, they only took to, uh, take one wicket and India take like six wickets. So I think that was the big difference between the two tier. The two and, tier. And, and Rohit Sharma himself said after the match, he said at one point even they were thinking 150, 160 yeah. here, but after that partnership, they were like, you know, let's add 25 more and see what, what they can do. Like with a, it. Uh, Rohit Sharma said how many things we had to say that we didn't have a panic. If he said that he didn't have a panic, and then if 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 he didn't have a panic, and then और वो जो तीसरा शॉट खेला उन्होंने वो सीधा हाथों में चला गया तो उस वक्त देख लेकिन आपने इनकी जब बैटिंग कर रहे थे तो आपने एक अच्छा लेकिन बड़े काम काम थे वो और वहाँ उनको पता था कि अगर हम कहीं 140 150 करते हैं तो हमारे पास अच्छा चांस होगा उसकी वजह ये कि वो आज इंडिया भी हमेशा ठीक है आप अच्छे होंगे चेज में ठीक है आप अच्छे होंगे पोस्ट में लेकिन अगर जैसे अगर मैं हम एक और टीम की बात करें अफगानिस्तान की उस पिच पे उनको पहले खुद बैटिंग नहीं करनी चाहिए थी जो उस पे हम बात ज़्यादा बात नहीं कर सके लेकिन हम उससे पहले मैच में इसमें क्या करेंगे प्लीज हम ही � ऐसा ना करें लेकिन मुझे लगता है कि वो भी मिस कर गए उस वक्त पिच रीड करने चाहिए था पिच पिच रीड करने चाहिए ठीक है आप अपने स्ट्रेंथ पे खेल दो आपकी स्ट्रेंथ है कि जी बैट पहले करनी या आपकी स्ट्रेंथ है कि आपने चेस करना है लेकिन कंडीशन ये अगर आपको नहीं अलाउ करती तो आप वन डाइमेंशन देखें � मैं ये नहीं कह रहा हूँ कि ठीक है इंडिया भी हार सकती थी इंग्लैंड भी अगर हारता भी तो और थोड़ा फाइट जरूर कर सकते थे मेरे ख्याल से जब इतनी लोडी टीम हो इतने आपके पास एक्सपीरियंस हो और इतने मिचोर टीम हो तो फिर आपको आखर तक दिन जाना चाहिए अगर हम इंडिया की और ऑस्ट्रेलिया तो शायद उन पे और प्रेशर आता और अगर प्रेशर आता तो फिर मिस्टेक होती तो मेरे ख्याल से ये आपको लर्न करना है कि ठीक है आप सही है आप वन डाइमेंशन अगर हो भी तो फिर आपको मिस्टेक नजदीक तो पहुंचे फिर आप 68 रन्स के दूरी पे नहीं हारो मैच and Professor, like India had an aggressive attack to the entire batting lineup. It felt like maybe that was the wrong call in the power play when they did lose Virat and Punt early, but that consistency to uh, attack the bowlers selfless batting, aggressive batting, it ended up getting them 171, which was far too much in a wicket like this. Did you enjoy that intent with the bat today from India? Well, really, uh, really impressed because they managed things very well. They were controlling the game all over at the end of the match too. 
as a batting unit they posted that total which obviously given them a more confidence that they can defend that total having quality spinners within your team also having bumra with you i think it's going to be a tough task for any team to chase down this total but you know this victory obviously they were very clinical in the whole tournament they were very ruthless they were very um, going with the right approach because you know by the time i i, I wanted to just sh share that thing by the time this team was selected media was asking why you had four spinners and three fast bowlers and he said i will reveal it later because the conditions were more demanding and more conducive towards spin attack that's the reason this guy and along with the management must have a plan that how they going to utilize the four spinners on these track which obviously will give the more edge so as a team i think they planned things well they execute their plans really well and they deserve to be in the final because at the moment there's no doubt they are a complete team india is a complete team at the moment because earlier their batting was more dominant and virat and rohit was the the more two pillars of the team basically who used to get more runs for the team but now if we can see the contribution of different batsmen are getting into and also performing well whenever the situation demanding from them uh, even though virat kohli doesn't have a best of the world cup so far but still see it it it, is, it didn't make any difference to the whole progress of the team so i think as a team they plan things very well the only one mystery has to be unleashed has to has to understand that is the inclusion of dubey because pakistan had a mystery of abrar ahmed never been unleashed they unleashed that mystery still not been able to find what is his role in the team because i still believe virat should bat at number 3 i know it's too late now they will never change that thing for the final but it's it's a it's a missed opportunity for jaiswal i believe the guy was ready to represent at like to do well for the team but having dubey and wasting a time on him because the way he's playing this tournament i couldn't see much about the technique about his whatever he must have done in in the franchise cricket but at international level it doesn't seem to me a complete play and he slid even further down that Absolutely. batting order today yeah, yeah. dubious and once you don't have a confidence on him then why you are having him in the in the, in the squad well a lot of a lot has been said on the indian selection and i think now we're understanding why they went with a spin heavy side of course they were the only team to know where they were playing their yeah, semi final yeah. the venue the conditions and all of that let's take a quick look at the match summary as well see what went down in guyana today england winning the toss and putting india to bat first india ending up with 171 at the loss of seven wickets at the end of the 21 20 overs rohit sharma with 57 off his bat and surya kumar yadav playing another spectacular knock 47 from 36 from him supported by hardik pandya with a fiery 23 of 13 from him jateja chipping in at the end which ended up uh, with india doing 171 on the board chris jordan with three wickets again today a great spell from him uh, sam karan one wicket adil rashid and reese topley with a wicket each to their names uh, but the score was going to be too much for the england england batters especially with the kind of start they got philip sol got out early but it was joss butler um with 23 of 15 and harry brook with 25 uh, who top scored in that inning but apart from that nobody else could really establish partnerships to take the chase through bowling agar hum baat kare kuldeep and akshar patel bowled beautifully through the middle three wickets each for both of them in their four overs and bumra doing bumra things once again two wickets for him giving away just 12, 12. in his almost uh, three overs 2.4 overs india won the match by 68 runs which is a massive margin for them but we're not worried about margins anymore or net run rate anymore because they're into the final and they're playing south africa who also have come into this final with a journey of their own erin and we will of course talk properly about that uh, final as well do our own preview but uh, shuib coming back to this match and coming back to india being spin heavy in this world cup now we understand their makeup was uh, primarily for the knockouts because they haven't been doing well in the knockouts agar aap unke aakhri kuch world cups dekhein to wo unbeaten to rehte hain lekin semi final mein aake ya final mein aake uh, collapse kar jate hain as a team this time do you think it will be any different for india in the final look i not uh, make a tough statement hai, but india has made a bad pitch for the last world cup let's put it this way very simple India would have uh, given a chance to Australia to bat first. Could have done that. You know they wanted to bowl first. 
I always empathize that you've got to read the wicket first. You have to read the wicket. Why this toss plays? Why we don't have the toss? Why we have the toss? The reason why, what I, I, I've seen you yesterday, you went there to make pitch, right? And did the roller thing and, you know, and then he practiced on it. Ye sari practices jo thi, ye hum bachpan mein karte rahe. Ab Hafiz bhi karta rahe, wicket banata rahe. Yunus bhi wicket banata rahe, mein bhi wicket banata rahe. Aaj jab hum khelte thai us pe, hume paas chal jata tha. Ke yaar, ye wicket mein bounce kam hai aaj. Yada raat sahi sahi khade ho ke dekhte thai, yaar, baarish na ho ja subha. Bilkul aise. Taan ke, per subha dekhte thai, yaar, aaj bounce kam hai, aaj zyada hai. We get to the first class. You remember? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we get to the first class. Remember? So, now, you know, we have to go to the first class. So, now, we have to go to the first class. Afghanistan is okay. Afghanistan is okay. You have to treat it. You can probably do it with the ball. I'm just saying that. Now, we go to the well prepared. You think about things. I think India here, if the next match is going to win, then what do you think about it? Honestly, what do you think about it? अगर विकेट वहाँ पे घास होनी होगा ना बाबेडोस में तो मजदार विकेट फ्लैट होगा वो क्या करेगा अब आपसे पूछता हूँ क्या करेगा बैटिंग करेगा ना ऑफ़ कोर्स बैटिंग करेगा ना वही मैं कह रहा हूँ कि वहाँ पे अगर थोड़ा सा अगर साउथ अफ्रीका टीम कम्स रियली हार्ड विद द बॉल यू नो शम्स